Hey, what's up guys? John with Gaming and coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh! Banlist discussion and we're gonna hop right in. Uh, coming in, that number one spot is Unicorn or Magic Spectre Unicorn Kern. Uh, this card just being like super nasty at one. I can't believe like we ever had this card at three, but yeah, I definitely think this card will probably be banned, gotten rid of, no more, just yeah. Uh, number two would be Danko Seca. Uh, Danko Seca was not actually on my list to start off with. And then Billy Break over the weekend, like, just using this card to absolutely demolish, uh, totally stomping Paleozoics and stuff. This is like a MVP during that tournament and stuff. So, definitely that. Uh, Speedroid Teratop, uh, again, this probably wasn't actually going to be on my list. I had thought about putting uh, another card on my list. And then watching replays of like, uh, different people in different tournaments and stuff, I realized Terra Top is the key card to hit. Uh, knocking it down to one would probably be what they're going to do to it, in my opinion. Um, this, by the way, knocking this down to like two or one. I don't see Danko Seca getting hit because it's not. It's, it's a side deck card. It's not a main deck card. It doesn't really do a lot. That being said, um, with Wind Witches coming out and Speedway Terra Top being like an optimal uh, rank three play for um, uh, MX Saber Invoker being able to to uh, do stuff for um, whatever, Junichi Shis, uh whenever they come out. This this is probably going to end up getting knocked to one. Um, my original idea was getting rid of uh, Tacknaborg, but I was watching people play uh, Metafo Yang Zing, and they were using uh, Triad? Not Triad Dice. Yeah, Triad Dice. And I think it's Triad Dice. And for the level manipulation with Teratop, and uh, yeah, Teratop is definitely the card to either uh, get rid of completely or knock to one. Uh, level Eater, uh, OCG hasn't had it in a while, and with the rise of, like, uh, we're seeing dark synchro decks and stuff pop up. Excuse me. I do believe that Level Eater is going to end up either getting banned, most likely banned, I, I don't know. It's not a really a big issue over here, but uh, as soon as it starts becoming an issue, this card is going to go by way. Uh, instant Fusion. I believe that uh, Norden at 1 hasn't really done anything, and unless they're going to ban Norden, Instant Fusion is now going to be need needed to be get hit. Also, Instant Fusion, um, especially for uh, like Elemental Hero players playing like um, uh, the Hero Totally Awesome build, is like this card for the uh, other level 4 water type monster that came out of the OP packs and stuff. Like, this card is just. It's made other cards jump in price for stupid ass reasons and stuff, but uh, I believe instant fusion, uh, most likely down to two or one. I don't think it'll get banned. Um, if anything, Norden will get banned and stuff like that. Uh, Vanity's emptiness. This card is so strong and so overpowered, but at the same time, at one you don't see it as much as you want to, but when you see it, this card is absolutely nuts. So Vanity's Emptiness probably going to end up getting banned, in my opinion. We'll see. Anti-Spell Fragrance. Now, if uh, Konami brings over like they did in the OCG, uh, all the erratas and stuff that they got, they got an errata on um, Imperial Order, where you pay the 700 life points and no spell cards can be activated and all the effects and stuff are negated. Um, this will most likely be hit or gotten rid of because of the fact that... Uh, that card is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, maybe. it's Again, it's a side deck card. So, like, it's a really, really powerful side deck card. But at the same time, if we get something like Imperial Order, people are going to stop playing this. Is, this is going to become irrelevant. Or who knows? They might play both just so they can see it a lot more. I don't know. I think having both of them at the same time would be a mistake. So, I think that this will probably get banned if they give us Imperial Order back. Or they'll knock them down to 1-1. One, one. That would be interesting. Giving a Superior Order at 1 with the Errata Text and Anti-Spell Fragrance at 1. Um, Solemn Strike, a lot of people, the only reason this is on my list is because a lot of people like the idea of Solemn Strike getting hit, all of the other Solemn cards have been hit, and again, for the price of 1500 life points, what you get, Solemn Strike is really, really overpowered, but I don't believe Solemn Strike will get banned, I believe Solemn Strike will get hit to 2 or 1, most likely 1, because a lot of people are playing Double Strike and then the, um, the Warning, so I see Solemn Strike getting hit to 2. Uh, Norden, again, banned. It needs to be banned. It really, really needs to be banned. Um, Cypher and Omega. A lot of people are talking about this card, uh, you know, knocking it to one and stuff like that. In my opinion, uh, this card is not seeing enough play to really merit being on the list. 
in my opinion, it, when you do see it, it is a freaking nasty card. They loop the shit out of it and stuff, which is why I understand why people want it to get hit and stuff. And it's also a very, very expensive card. Hitting it will drop the price on it and stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, either knock to one or ban. We'll see. Um, and now these two cards. This is kind of where it gets kind of iffy. Uh, totally awesome on the OCG ban list was put at one. Uh, most likely because Palezoics over there are like running rampant. And the totally heroes and stuff like that are running rampant. I don't think that the TCG will be knocking this to one right now. Uh, that's my personal opinion because Co Money likes, you know, making money off of cards, and right now this is sitting. It actually it's, it's slowly dropping because of the OCG ban list. People are scared that you know they're going to have this expensive card. They're trying to get rid of it and stuff. So it's it's actually started to drop. It was around sixty like three or four weeks ago, and now it's almost at forty, forty five ish. So people are trying to get rid of it because of the OCG ban list and stuff. Now that being said, I don't believe Totally Awesome is going to get hit. I think that if they wanted to do anything, it would be Bahamut Shark first, because Bahamut Shark allows it to be played in other decks. Whereas, like, you can play the Tin Goldfish and the Instant Fusion with the Norden and a couple of other cards to make this a viable card in a lot of other decks. I remember um, there was the the Minerva Sworn person who was playing the uh, Chocolate Magician Girl and the, the Gaiga Whatevers. And uh, he was playing the Bahamut Shark into Totally Awesome, so it was Minerva Swarm with Totally Awesome, which is, that's just gross. So Bahamut Shark, in my opinion, is the more optimal choice for Komani right now, as long as they want the product to keep moving. But uh, yeah, that's that's my opinion. So this is my, my list, kind of, um, I don't want to say that this will be what's going to happen, but this is my thoughts on the lists and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Why don't you guys go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what card you think should be on this list, what card shouldn't be on this list, and reasons for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.